tall mounts, why you should consider them even if you don't shoot under night vision. Unfortunately, a lot of people think that tall mounts uh, are only used for passive shooting under night vision. And that's unfortunate because tall mounts actually have a lot of benefit far beyond and far more beneficial than just shooting passively under night vision. They're certainly good for that, uh, or at least a lot better for passively shooting under night vision. Now, to be honest, I'm not a big believer in shooting passively under night vision, but that's a whole nother topic for another day. So with that being said, what are the benefits of a tall mount over a over like your standard uh, absolute co-witness or lower one-third co-witness height mounts out there? Well, there are several. Number one, it makes shooting your red dot when you are wearing things on your head, particularly uh, ear pro, helmets, uh, winter wear is another big one here in New Hampshire. Uh, we obviously have a winter, so when I'm out training in the winter, uh, shooting a red dot with a lower mount is definitely a lot more annoying when you're wearing things that keep your head warm along with uh, ear pro on top of that. So that definitely is a bigger benefit because you don't have to get your head as low on the gun or low at all in order to see your dot, which is a huge benefit. So that way you're not trying to get your head real low and you're pushing your ear pro up over up over your ears. It's, it's really annoying with those lower mounts. Another big benefit to a tall mount is your ability to keep your head up when shooting, which is a huge benefit, especially when you're dealing with uh, fights that happen at much closer ranges. And most rifle fights occur at what would otherwise be considered pistol ranges. So generally within that 25 yard and in range. Most rifle fights occur within those ranges. And being able to keep your head up, it's just a lot better for situational awareness. You're able to see a lot more. Your, your field of view isn't as crowded by your gun and all sorts of things. And then finally, going off of that last one, it's nice not having to move your head in order to acquire that sight picture. It's better to, just like when you're shooting a red dot on a pistol, you don't want to, you don't want to be moving your head lower as you're driving that pistol out. You keep your head and your eyes fixed and you drive and you bring that pistol up to your target. Same thing with a rifle. I really don't wanna be moving my head at all. I wanna be able to snap that gun out and just acquire that dot without having to move my head and my eyes. And it provides a much faster sight picture because instead of trying to align two things that are moving, i.e. your dot and your gun and your eyes, one of them is fixed and you're bringing the other one to that, i.e. your eyes and your head are fixed and you bring your dot and your eyes to, I'm sorry, your, your gun and your dot to your eyes. Now there are several different types of high rise mounts out on the market. The UND Fast being the uh, OG and the most popular out there, and it's a fantastic mount. This GBRS Lerna, which is a little bit newer on the market, this one's even taller than the Fast mount and other similar mounts out there. Also a really nice one. I personally really like this one because it sits up even a little bit taller. And the other one that I'm a big fan of as well is this Overbore Systems, which is the same height as the Unity. Um, it just doesn't have the integrated backup irons, which personally I prefer. Um, it's just another option. Again, this is the Overbore Systems. I have a few of these. These things are awesome and I really like them too. Um, so regardless, no matter which one you choose out there on the market, as long as it comes from a good quality manufacturer, Overbore Systems, Unity, uh, GBRS for the other one, they're gonna be quality, they're gonna be quality risers and they will serve you just well. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing to either my player or my Patreon channels. Links are down in the description below, of course. I'm Tyler Austin from Gun Gear Strategic. Thank you so much for watching.